problem and where did the John Tree book make a mistake? Well, to know where the mistake was, we first have to <gasps> solve it. How? It looks so menacing over there. Center and radius? How do you find that using a graphing equation? Well, it's very simple. You might think, OMG, is that a Y squared? How are we going to solve this? Well, calm down, calm down. Because if you don't know the equation, so let's write down step one right over here. So the equation for a circle is x squared or x minus h whole squared plus y minus k whole squared is equal to r squared. So r is, of course, the magnitude of the radius, and h comma k are the coordinates of the center. So we need to rearrange this equation to look like that. So we have to rearrange this thing to look like that. And now you might be thinking, but Chiborno, how do we do that? Well, it's actually also really simple. Because you see, we can expand this to make it look more like what we have right now. So you see, x squared minus 2xh plus h squared plus y squared minus 2yk plus k squared is equal to r squared. Now, this gets even better. When you realize h, k, and r are constants. So that means they're going to be numbers. So we don't have to worry about more variables. So that essentially means that we're going to be having this is going to have to look like that. But how do we do that? Well, it's really simple, I'm afraid. Because all we have to do is, you see this negative 6x? Let's put it right over there. See, that matches up with the 2x8. We'll get to the h squared part later. And then you have y squared, and we need to add 8y to both sides to get this. Plus, I should probably align this so it looks better. Plus 8y is equal to, now, on the left side, because we added 8y, we only have 56 left. All right, so, now, you might notice that we're still missing two parts. We're still missing the h squared, and we're also missing the k squared. So, how do we get those two? Well, it's really simple, and I'll show you that in step two. So, let's get on right this way. After a lot of unnecessary drawing, we have come to... Step... Two. All right. So, what are we going to do? Well, remember, in step one, we had this issue, that h and k squared thing. So, on our to-do list, we have to find h and k to make sure we know what the values of h squared and k squared are. So, that becomes much, much easier when you realize that these two terms align, and so do these two. So, let's set them equal to each other. So, negative 2x8 is equal to negative 6x. So, now, we can find 8 by dividing both sides by negative 2x, which gives us 
3. And then you have k. 8y, or rather negative 2yk, equal to negative 8y. So now, or positive 8y. So now we divide both sides by negative 2y, and we get k equal to negative 4. All right. So now, that means that a squared is 9, and k squared is 16. So we're going to add 9 and 16 to both sides. So minus 6x plus 9 to complete the square. <gasps> okay, no, it's not that. Plus y squared plus 8y. And then to complete this square, we get k squared, 16. And that's equal to 56 plus 9 plus 16. So now, this is going to be factored, which gives us x minus 3 squared. And then this is going to be factored, giving us y plus 4 squared. And adding up all these terms gives you 81, which, no coincidence, is 9 squared. So that means that the coordinates are 3 comma negative 4 and the radius is 9. However, where's the mistake? Well, somehow, some way, when converting from here to here, here I'll write it again so you can see this, and they factor it. So they realize that this is equal to 81, of course x minus 3 squared plus y plus 4 squared. And then suddenly, that 81 becomes a 9. No squared, just a 9. And then they say r equals 3 because r squared is 9. I don't know where they got that from because even the official NYSED website says that this is wrong and that is correct. So... Thank you everybody for watching. Don't buy beer ever again. And we'll see you.